often imitated, never motherfucking duplicated. Death Rack, your boy's back. I ain't even gonna do too much cussing on here because the voice is here. Hey, look here, folks. Yeah, the voice didn't take a little hiatus. But the voice been, you know, sitting back since we lost it. You know, I play off game, you know, I just been watching. You know, the offseason got drama that go on in the offseason. And the NFC South is a whole bunch of drama going on with my foes, too. And there's a whole hell of a lot of drama going on in the Carolina Panthers franchise. Now, my, now before I get off into this motherfucking video, and I'm gonna put that, I want every Panther, mother Panther Nation, you tweet this for the, I hope they get them and see this. Get them in, homeboy. You tripping, homeboy. You tripping. You tripping. And let the voice break you down. I got to break your ass down. I am the voice. Big time Panther fan. And I know a whole bunch of big time Panther fans that follow the voice and goddamn I communicate with a lot. You tripping, homeboy. You tripping. You need to watch your motherfucking mouth, man. You need to watch your mouth. You up here talking about goddamn cutting Steve Smith. But let me but before I get to cutting Steve Smith, before I get to that, so you know I ain't just some old. In your world, some old ignorant fan. Before I get to talking about that, frankly, I lost a little respect for you when you traded John Beeson. Everybody else sat back. We were just like, oh, okay, because Luke Keekley, all this and that. You traded John Beeson. We still had to pay. We still had to pay him like eight million. And I do believe we still got. He's still a cap hit. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's a little cap hit for this year. Believe it. Or was it just last year? We still had to pay that contract, and he went off to the Giants. And we got a seventh-round draft pick for him, for John Beeson. Two-time pro bowler. But anyway, let, let me move on from that. that. That lift the eyebrow for me right there. But the main issue why I'm camming up, it ain't even about Jordan Gross. Because Jordan Gross, hey, he got tired. He might have seen something that we haven't seen. But I tell you the fuck what, my I'm not I'm not getting into that because this video, this is gonna be tweeted. And I want the organization to see this. I'm not saying that Steve Smith is untouchable. But in Panther fans' eyes, Steve Smith got the Kobe effect. Your motherfucking chump ass wouldn't have that job up there in Charlotte, North Carolina right now if it wasn't for Steve Smith. My, if it wasn't for Steve Smith. Y'all sitting here like, what, what, what? Look at here, man. Steve Smith was the first super duper star to come to the Carolina Panthers. Yes, we did end up getting Julius Peppers and all these other cats. We're still a young franchise. But for you to go in the Columbine and disrespect Steve Smith, man, fuck that. To disrespect Steve Smith, talking about you just shitting on what he done in the past, my nigga. Huh? Hey, man, you tripping, homeboy. You might want to sit the fuck back. And if you cut Steve, if you cut Steve Smith, we still got to. It won't be but a $1.5 million cap relief for this year and $1 million for next, for 2015. That's it, $2 million. And we still owe Steve Smith all that money and he ain't even fucking playing. What's the significance? The Carolina Panthers right now don't even have a number one wide receiver on the fucking team. Cam Newton did this shit last year without a number one receiver. Steve Smith is not a number one receiver. He is 35 years old or will be 35 this year, years old before the season gets started. He's under contract. Why would you cut him? You already said we cap strapped. Why would you cut him and we still got to pay him for the next two years? Look at your homeboy. You need to sit your motherfucking ass down. You see this team want to stay together. All them reconstructions they doing, doing their deals, trying to keep this team together. 
Don't fuck it up, man. If you, it, boy, don't don't fuck it up, man. I tried not to start cussing this video, but I'm getting a little fired up about how y'all disrespecting Steve Smith. No, how you disrespecting Steve Smith? Now, Panther Nation, y'all can agree with me or not agree with me. So a lot of people don't like Steve Smith for the annex that he'd have done in the past. But I tell you what, he's the greatest Panther of all time. And I'm fired up like a motherfucker for them to even disrespect him for everything he's done for the city of Charlotte and my Carolina Panthers. Panther Nation, stand up. I hope this video get down to them. But I tell you what, in my ass, Steve Smith deserves the Kobe treatment. Believe that. They, the Lakers just paid Kobe all that money for nothing. His ass ain't even touching no goddamn court this year. And come next year, they ain't going to do shit next year. And he going to ride off in the sunset. Hey, but I'm the voice, man. And I'm out. I just had the cam up. Hey, TTC, I'll be coming back on here, and, and I'm going to get some shit crackalacking just to keep my channel active. But I'm the voice, and I'm out. Hey, look at here. Gentlemen, now I like you. But you need to cut that, that disrespectful shit out. Talking about Steve Smith was a good player in his past. Motherfucker, look at here. We ain't have a number one receiver last goddamn year. Fuck out of here, man.